Hi gang, Rob here. It is the morning of 8 September 2015 and I've got another from the sharpening bench video for you. This one is a Benchmade 915 triage coming your way from Raphael in Miami Beach and this is kind of an interesting project. Not your normal sharpening spa on this one. See Raphael carries this knife uh, every day <clears throat> in his hometown and sort of does it in the interest of being safe and uh, being sheeple friendly at the same time. Nice little rescue tool as you guys know flips out of the back of the handle on the triage. And Raphael, like many of you, were not, is not in love with the modified sheep's foot blade that comes on the triage. But wouldn't it be cool, he thought, if you could get in the triage a blade that resembled a 950 Rift or a 940 Osborne? Hmm. Let's take a look at some footage of those two blades and see what you'd think. Would they look good in the triage handle? Hmm. Stick with me, guys. So first we saw a Benchmade 940 uh, modified reverse Tato blade, and then the 950 Rift, which is sort of a bigger, uh, more stylized version of the same blade. But what if you had in the triage the same blade shape? Isn't that interesting? No modified sheep's foot on this triage. So here is the after, and now take a look at a sheep's foot triage before this mod. Yeah, an interesting difference, huh? So Raphael sort of was willing to forego the that sort of safety sheep's foot spine <clears throat> suitable for sliding in, you know, between skin and fabric to extricate somebody from a car accident or somewhere they might be trapped in favor of a piercing tip and a pretty doggone strong piercing tip. Let me see if I can get you a shot of that. There she is. So I did this on uh, on my two inch jet belt grinder, and I think did it with pretty good symmetry. Let's see what you guys think of my. I'm sort of at the mercy of Benchmade's factory grind, but I think I got it pretty good and matched the texture pretty well from the reverse tanto tip to the main spine and broke the edges just ever so slightly with the medium rods on my Spyderco Sharp Maker and I think it's just about the same edge break you get along the main spine. You see the way the light's reflecting off that corner and that corner. Of course one thing the triage doesn't need any help with is its blade grind as it functions in slicing made of that beautifully creamy delicious Bowler N690 steel. Oh, takes such a superb edge and great polish and I just love working with it. I don't know that it you know, holds up very well. It's, I think sort of a notch above VG10, a little less rolly than VG10. Oh, not ultimate edge retention, but man, how rewarding to sharpen and use when it's fresh from the bench. Oh, love the stuff. Man, that came out nice, didn't it? I just charged an extra $10 for that mod. So, if any of you have uncoated triages and you'd like to make them into a rift, <laughs> a riftage, <laughs> let me know. I'm fairly confident in my ability to replicate that process. 
I think it came out great. Let's check out the tip. How'd we do? Pretty good. Let's see if our little Washington Monument peak came out right. I'm having trouble with my light here, boys. There, how's that look? Hmm. This was a fun one. I'm gonna put this back in the mail today to Raphael. Of course, because it's got that coated frame, they're just not the freest knives in the world. They're very hard to get super free without blade play. I'm riding the hairy edge on this one as it is, and it's not, not a free swinger. Oh, Benchmade and their coatings. When will they learn? Thought you'd like to see this one, guys. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word and Raphael's Benchmade triage are sharp.